Hey, how you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we're going to talk a little bit about this baby right here. This is what they call 305. They built these 305s from about this date to about 90 something. And then went to LS. So this is old school. This is a unique old school engine, this one. This is the one that's going to be going in the blue truck. And this is a new style block, which is like 87 and up style block. And these heads are 86 and down style heads. 305 high output heads. This intake is from the 87 and up style. And I'm having a little problem here, Jim. It's not a big problem, but it's a little problem. These new style heads, you know, that bolt in this way, if you're a Chevy guy, you'll know what I'm talking about. They bolt down from the, through the valve cover onto the doodad. These ones bolt from the doodad to the four knot doodad. So the problem we're having is that the bolts go in this way. Are you looking? The bolts go in this way all the way along, right? Well, this one, this intake and the newer style heads, they go, the bolts go in this way and then these two go straight down. So the problem we're having here, if you know, these are the old school heads with the new style intake. And I want to use this intake because it's, this is a 750 throttle body on here, which I want to use because I want to keep fuel injection in the old truck. Ruski. So what I have been doing is I have been shaving these two holes here on an angle so I can get the angle bolts in. But I'm telling you what, it's a lot of work, but we're getting there. We're almost there. I just got to take out some more material in order to get these bolts through. We hold this thing back up again. She's pretty clean there, of course, because it is a rebuild. Now, it has all port and polished port holes. I show you this in some previous videos, but I'll show you again. Everything's been porch matched in this bad boy, including the intake runners. She's got one five roller rockers in her. She's Bored out. She's a three, uh, she's bored out 60 over. So if it's bored out, I thought it was bored out 30 over, which make it a 310. But I guess this is about a 315. So it's probably bored out like 45 over. I don't even know that, I don't even know what it really is, to be honest with you. It could be a 320 over. It could be a 320. It could be a 315. It could be a 3-something. I'm going to have to reconfirm the actual bore of this engine. Because for some reason I was told it was 60 over. A 30 over would make it a 310. I think. I don't know. Leave your comments down below if you would know what the hell is really going on. Because I don't really fucking know what's going on. But, like I said, what we're doing right now is we're going to finish mm -mm, now these things. So if you want to see that, you stick around. If you don't want to see that, then I guess you better sign off the old video here, but it should be pretty interesting. It should probably undo the throttle body. I got the Torque Master 7.0 on here too. I don't know if you guys know what that means or not. You take this off and there's a torque spacer. It's, it's supposed to give you torque. I think it's a bull of crap, but whatever, okay? We're probably going to use the Torque Master 7000 anyways, because that's what we do. But another thing I'm having a problem with here is the engine's been sitting so long. Oh, by the way, this has flat top pistons with four valve reliefs, and I think they're Welco or something. And a custom ground camshaft, so it will run with a fuel injection. So she should have a little bit of lump to her. Well, we're going to have to find out real soon, too, because, hell, we got to get this thing going soon. If you want her in the truck. I can't even turn her over right now. She's stiffer than a nun's cunt she is. Fuck. I don't know why. Probably from sitting. The ring's probably seated on the old doodad. Oh, it turns, but not very good. It's seized up, is what you call that. But I need... Oh, there it goes. So it's not seized up. It works. It's just really tight. That makes me feel better because I put, you know, oil down the cylinders and not, not stuff like this. And uh, that kind of makes me feel good. I don't know if you can sneak peek in there. There's some roll rockers on here too. This thing's not too bad, eh? It's pretty good. I was gonna use these valve covers. We're gonna buy the different ones. Let me show you something. Brought to you by Snap-on. I got myself one of these handy dandy little how you doing tools that you can look into stuff. And as you can see there, look at that. She's beautiful. 
Hey, there's your flat top piston through the four valve release. You stick the next hole over, and you can see here how nice the walls are. Look at it. There's a better picture of the cylinder, actually. And actually, that should tell me, what does that say? It says 0 0.90, whatever the hell that means, Jim. They're 0.90, they are. This thing's mint. So yeah, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a die grinder and see if we can't ream them holes a little bit more. We got them pretty close, but they're not quite close enough for what we need. Captain, our captain. Ah, pardon me. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, do not. Careful. All right. <laughs> COVID. I think I do have COVID actually. My nose has been running like crazy. It's got sore throat, <clears throat> cough. Running COVID, I am. All right. So, what we need to do is we need to give her more of an angle of the dangle. Downways. Are you watching? I'm not. Careful. Careful. I think I'm going the right way. Yep, I am. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, fuck, jumping around. Not bad, not bad. Let's have a look. Yeah, looking pretty good. A little bit more. Careful. Easy. Gentle. Good. Next. Hey, next. Woo! She needs a lot off her. You know what's kind of nice? When it vibrates like that, it seems to take off more material. looking better it is maybe not i don't know could be we're gonna find out sorry about that i apologize so now that i got almost somewhere with the all the uh drowning i'm getting close next thing i had to do was go on trusty old amazon and get myself some angle washers stainless angle washers the only thing I'm running into problems now with this is I might need a longer bolt. But have a look here and you'll see what I'm talking about, Jim. Hopefully you can see. So what I'm hoping to do is get that bolt started like this, which it does. There's one, see? Like I said, we're gonna need some longer friggin' bolts because I'm gonna have to put a washer on here. I have to put a washer on here as well. I am, to take up the whole size difference. But I'll tell you what, these washers aren't going to work too bad, they're not. Just got to get the right angle to dangle with them, that's all. There we go. We're getting right, boys. I ain't checking out. You're getting the idea anyway. I think we might almost have her. Ooh, this one's really hard to get to. Frig. I'm going to do these valve covers off. Wow. See, I'm going to take off some more because you got to allow for the, the uh, gaskets to go in too. Which are going to lift up the valve cover some more or the intake some more because these washers aren't quite enough but hey they're going to give me somewhat of a seat it's better than no seat careful how's your head not good oh you took it you took it like a man you did okay where'd my other 90 go i know we brought four over here where'd it go with the engine probably frank this thing's gonna blow up the first day i started where did it go I know he dropped it. Should have been that far though. Christ almighty. Maybe I did only bring three. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. We better double check this. So I used three. So we got full three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, that's right. We didn't lose one. The one he brought three over. He only took ten pack. So we're good. If you're ever not sure, count how many you needed. Get in there, you dirty bastard, yeah. They don't give you much room in there, I tell you. Let me tell you what. I think we got her though, Jim. I think she's gonna work. Pull her a 12 mil 10 point here. 12 point, I mean, sorry. Make sure they all go in. Yep, that's going in. No problem. Oh yeah, we did. Perfect, 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 and perfect. So there you go. So what we're gonna have to do next is because these washers aren't 100%, as you can see down in here, you can see that it does not quite seat and quite right. It's only a half the washer. 
So what we're gonna have to do is take these washers and grind them down just a little bit to take the right angle of the manifold. So that'll be the next stage, what we're gonna have to do. Which shouldn't be too bad, you just grab a hold of them. You just take it in the grinder or on that thing over there. And you just take her down a little bit. Cause you're gonna want this thing to sit just perfect here. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that right now. We'll do one together. So you kind of have an idea. Stay over here. You've seen me use this thing before. So we'll just turn this on. And we'll get my pair of pliers. So we're just gonna see pretty good. So there we go. We got that ground down just a little bit. And it might fit better. Let's try it. Why wouldn't we? And then I gotta go. I got parent teacher night tonight, so we gotta hurry up. We gotta step, put a step on on this thing, we do. But I wanted to show you one because that's what I do. Hey, okay? gotta show you at least one. See, so I'm gonna want them all to look like that one, not like that one. See how you got the gap down here? And that was nice and flat? That's what we want her. And then we're gonna get a washer and a little bit longer bolt. And that way we'll be able to crank her down and make her look good, Jim. Free and right. So that's how you fabricate your intake on a newer style engine to fit an older style head. Hopefully you'd learn something today. If you didn't, I did, because I didn't know how to do it until now. So there you go. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around because there's gonna be more on this engine because it's gonna have to go in that blue truck over there real soon. And then we'll have to see how she runs with the 700 R4 skins in her. Friggin' right, boys. So glad you're here. Until next time, we'll see you then.